God bless you. Welcome to Fresh Fire. I am Prophetess Dr. Gwendolyn Bradley, and I am so thankful that you decided to join me again today. So whenever you're coming in, whether you're joining me live or you're viewing the replay, it is so awesome to have you with me today. And I believe that this will not be a waste of your time. I believe that there is a word for the Lord for you. We're in a fresh new year. And I tell you, God wants a fresh new you. Uh, many are fasting and praying at the beginning of the year. And we're hearing, we're putting our ear to the wall to hear what God is speaking to us concerning directions, concerning guidance on how we can be successful in this year. So will you please join me in a brief moment of prayer as we get into our word for today? Amen. Father, I thank you for those who have joined me today. God, we know that it is not by heaven stance or coincidence, but Lord, you have brought them in because there is something that you want to speak. You want to give them direction. You want to give them confirmation. Lord, we thank you right now for the breakthrough that will take place during this live or during this replay. Father, you're doing a new thing in this new year and we receive it. We position ourselves for it. And we say, Lord, have your way with us. In Jesus name, we pray. Amen. Amen. So it's a new year. And I believe God wants a new year, a, a new you. And I want to uh, give you the scripture and the subject that I'm going to be speaking from tonight. And I'm going to try and get through this tonight. I, I think there's going to be a part two. But we're in 5782 or 2022. God is dealing with, I believe that he's dealing with the house this year. That's one of the things that he's dealing with, the house. The number two, the Hebrew letter or the Hebrew word for two is bet, B-E-T, and that paints a picture of a house. So when we look at house, we can look at the house of God. It can be dealing with our own houses. And when I say our it could be a house where we dwell in physically. But most importantly, I believe that God wants to build a house of righteousness. And I'm referring to the house that we that we dwell in spiritually, our vessels. God is looking for a righteous people. He's raising a righteous people. And I want you to go to Jeremiah 22. We're going to go to Jeremiah 22 and 13. And then I'm going to give you an overview. I know you probably heard it over and over again this year since this year began, but I'm going to give you an overview of 5782. And I think it's so important that we understand, you know, we perish for a lack of knowledge. I think it's important that we understand what the Lord is up to in this year. And whenever we want to see what God is up to, we can begin to look at Israel. And the Hebrew alphabet really speaks to us clearly in reference to the plans of God for our lives and for our cities, for our nation. So let's go to Jeremiah chapter 22. We're in 2022. And I thought this was a timely word that we can glean for this particular year. Amen. Jeremiah 22 and 22. And we're going to go there. Amen. And I'm looking at verse 13. And it says, Woe to him who builds his house by unrighteousness and his upper rooms by injustice. So we're going to be talking about Building a house of righteousness, building a house of righteousness. You probably heard that 2022 um, is a year to build. Yes, I do believe that this is a year to build in the physical. Many of you, you're going to tap into an anointing that's going to call for you, that's going to uh, release uh, the grace to acquire real estate, to acquire property. That's just that type of favor that's going to be on your life. Great 
favor is coming to the people of God this year. And I went over that last week. And you can find that in 90th number of Psalm, verse 17. You know, Moses wrote that Psalm. He's the author of that Psalm and he deals with light. And he talks about the hand of God. So the hand of God, the hand of favor is upon our life this year. And I believe that one area that we will see that favor manifest is in the area of the acquisition of property in land, in real estate, in contracts, in deals. You know, it's not even dependent on whether you deserve it or not. When favor gets ready to bless you, favor is not fair. I want to tell you favor is not fair. There will be no hindrance or delays to you being blessed in this year of 5722. Ha, somebody need to say amen, and you just need to go ahead and position yourself. Be in expectation for what the Lord wants to do in your life this, this year. There will be a bountiful, I said a bountiful harvest coming forth. And if you want to hear more about that, you can view, you can view my live from last week. You can take a look at that. Amen. And it talks about favor. The favor of God is upon you. So let's look here. Let's look here. I want to review. Take a look at what 5782 means in the Hebrew. And you probably have already researched this, studied this. So this will be like a type of review. But I believe there's a word in it. As you hear it again, you know, faith comes by hearing. So as we hear it again, may there be a stirring in your spirit. May there be a stirring in your belly that the Lord will most definitely perform his word. His word shall not return back void. I want to go over a little with you uh, before I go into 5782. I want to talk about this Hebraic month we're in. We're in the month of Shavat. That's S-H-E-V-A-T. And that it actually started on January the 2nd. Come on, somebody. January the 2nd, as we look at the number 2 and also 22. And we said that 2 is the uh, the Hebraic number, the Hebraic letter for 2 is Bet. Amen. It is Bet uh, 2. And what does Bet mean? Or 2, it means establish testimony. You're going to hear that, that word a lot this year. Establish. What has God established? concerning your life and what has been established by the Lord being in your life. There's some seeds that you have planted in the ground, some seeds that you have sown. It can be seeds of encouragement. It can be financial seeds, but this will be the year of the establishment and you're going to see the harvest being manifested in your life for what God has established through you and in you. So establish testimony, your testimony mean something. Your testimony, you have a powerful testimony. You know how you get a testimony? By standing on the word of God and trusting God. Number two also means confirm witness and support. Well, when we look at that confirm witness and support, meaning two is the number of confirmation. And we must watch what we come in agreement with. We must watch what we come in agreement with this year. Don't come in agreement with negativity. Come in agreement with the word of God. Come in agreement with the promises that God has spoken over your life and come in agreement, come on, with the plan of God. So it, we've got to be careful of this year of what we're coming in agreement with. We're going to have to stay focused on the word of God. Two is also, it means judgment. It means ruin. It means death, multiplication, the old in the New Testament, the word of God. It means the Ten Commandments written on two stones. Ah, come on, somebody. It means revelation, harmony, incarnation, the living word, separation, division, or end of a romance, contrast, split, and war. Now, <clears throat> this is going to be a year of warfare. I believe that. You know why? Favor attracts warfare. When you look at the house 
of Job and what Job went through. I mean, in his entire household. Why did Job go through what he went through? Because God found, saw that he was faithful and the enemy thought that the only reason why Job was being faithful and why he was trusting God because God had blessed Job so much. So God, he gave Job permission. Job asked for permission to come against him and God granted that because he knew about Job's testimony and he wanted to give Job, come on now, or even greater testimony. But at the end of the test that he went through, you know, as a result of the test, he lost his children. He even lost his health. He lost his prominence and his his his, stat, his status in the community. But guess what? That wasn't the end of the story. At the end of the story, Job 50, 42, God gave him double than what he had lost. And I don't know who I'm speaking to, but you're going to get back double of what you have lost in 2021, in 2020, even back seven years, because this is a Shemitah year. Come on, even back 50 years, 49 years. Come on, God is going way back. He's reaching way back to bring about the blessing of restoration, restitution, and recovery in your life. So. God blessed Job with more than what he had from the beginning and gave him a double portion. And so will you. This will be the year of your double portion. This is your Shemitah. This is your season of rest. Amen. You're going to rest. You're going to rest. Because guess what? Battles that you're going to win, you're not even going to have to fight them. God is fighting your battles for you. So let me finish talking about the month of Shabbat the month of Shabbat, this Jewish, Jewish Hebraic year that we are in right now, this Hebraic month, I'm sorry, that began on January the 2nd and it will end on February the 1st. What is the emotion for this month that you're going to see God dealing with? What we just said, righteousness. That's why so many people uh, are being led to fast and to pray during this season, during this time, the beginning of the year, because fasting changes us. Fasting helps us. It helps us to come into alignment with the word of God. It helps us to hear directions, instructions, to hear his voice as God speak to us and tell us what is out of alignment in our life, the areas that he's dealing with in our life, areas where the enemy has been hiding in our life. And what do I mean by that? That's we're talking about too, is the number deals with house and we're a sort of a house. Our vessels are sort of a house. The enemy will hide in your house. He will hide in your house to keep you from walking in these stronghold of these res this resistance will keep you from walking in righteousness. It will keep you from walking in the fullness of what God has in store for you. So in order to build a house of righteousness, I believe that every believer, especially during this time of the year, where many are fasting and praying and seeking the face of God and where we can hear the voice of God more clearly. This is a time of the year that we need to seek out and submit ourselves to deliverance. Oh my. And deliverance is the inheritance of the people of God. What I mean by you need to be delivered there, you know, life happens, life happens. And sometimes we can allow and open up the door for the enemy to come in in different ways. And when the enemy comes in, if we don't take time to cast him out, if we don't take time to get rid of him, to kick him out of our life, that particular area where we open up the door to, it becomes a stronghold, a fortress. The enemy will not leave willingly. You know, I don't know why in the church, in the house of God, we have forgot about two words. What is that? Get out, get out, get out. That's what we need to tell the enemy. Get out, get out, or come out, come out in the mighty name of Jesus. And where does he need to come out of? There's particularly five areas in your house, in your spiritual house, that the enemy can hide. And you're going to be surprised at this, but you need to know this. And you can go and do research on your own, 
on deliverance and see how deliverance is important ministry in the house of God, in the church of God, especially this year as God is dealing with our houses. Yes, he's dealing with our vessels. These are the five areas where the enemy will hide and will hinder. It will hinder the move of God, hinder you stepping into your purpose and stepping into your destiny. The first area is your emotions. It's your emotions. What do I mean by the enemy will hide in your emotions? You can begin to see it. You'll notice it that you're holding on to hurt, holding on to rejection, holding on to anger, holding on to hatred, to rage, to sadness, to grief. All of these can dwell in your emotions if you don't take care of it, applying the word of God to it and asking the Lord to set you free from these negative emotions. There are also spirits that can block and bind up the emotions. You know, you can go through hurt so many times. You can go through disappointment so much that it can be a stronghold and you begin to build up walls and not trust people to, to come into your life. You know, God will bless you uh, by sending people into your life. We are blessed by people. We can't build up walls and uh, let keep everybody out. You know, we have to be healed of those past hurts and rejection because, you know, as uh, a woman of God has been teaching that one of the words, another word for this year is collaboration. One is establishment and another one is collaboration. The Lord wants us to partner with others in order for you to see your purpose and your destiny come forth this year. It's going to call for partnering with others and working with others. Amen. It's called collaboration. Another area that the enemy wants to hide in is the body, your body. The different parts of your body can be a dwelling place for certain kinds of spirits. For example, stubbornness, rebellion can lodge in the neck, in the shoulder area. It can lodge in the neck, in the shoulder area. Spirits of lust can dwell in any part of the body that has been yielded to sexual sin. So while we're fasting and praying in our spirit, man is very sensitive to hear the voice of God. We need to deal with this. We need to take care of this. We need to go before the Lord. We need to listen and obey the Holy Spirit. If he's calling us into deliverance, then we submit our vessel to deliverance. So that's two areas, emotion in our bodies. The third area is in our speech. You have to watch, as I said earlier, you got to watch what you come in agreement with. You got to watch what's coming out of your mouth, your speech, amen. Evil spirits that manifest through the tongue. You know, the tongue can be used to bless and the tongue can be used to curse. So the tongue is often a hiding in the heart because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. That's Matthew 12 and 34. Spirits that can hide in the heart include bitterness, lust, pride, hatred, greed, and unbelief. Listen, whenever we start complaining, whenever we hold on to bitterness, what we're saying is we have unbelief. We don't believe God. You believe, when we believe God, we trust that he can heal us of those things and that he can take the bad that happened in our life and he can turn it around to for the good. In the fourth area that I'd like to discuss in our houses, in our vessels, where the enemy can hide, and we need to submit ourselves to deliverance, is in our appetite. Appetites, uh, that's addiction spirits to food. Yes, we can be addicted to, to food, to alcohol, to drugs, can be in, a, in the appetite. Uh, cause the person to have compulsive desires in these areas. Addiction spirits can also dwell in the mouth, in our taste buds, in our throat and stomach area. Now, throat, you're going to hear that word again. You're going to hear that word again in the mighty name of Jesus, and I'll tell you about that later. The fifth area is our sexual character. Spirits of lust, perversion, adultery, and fornication will invade and seek to control a person's sexual character along with sexual sin come guilt, shame, and condemnation. Condemnation. See, that's what the enemy want to do. He want to lock you up in guilt, sin, and 
condemnation. But we, like I said, there are two words that we need to become familiar with again in the church. And that is come out in the mighty name of Jesus because the Lord has too much work for us to do. He has too much favor for us to step into at things for comfort this year. And we need the spirit of God operating through our life. And we can hinder that move of the Holy Spirit when we have unrepentant hearts and we don't confess our sins and get forgiveness and also um, go through deliverance, which is our inheritance. So we were talking about Shabbat, this Hebrew month of, of Shabbat. Amen. We were talking about Shabbat. Praise God. And I want to tell you about that, um, about what this month means. Okay. So we talked about the emotion being righteousness. What is the blessing for this month? Imperceptible shifts, new spirit, new fruits. So the Lord wants to manifest new fruit in our life. That's why we go through the deliverance. That's why we go through cleansing. That's why we're fasting and praying now. Because in this new month, in this new year, in this new era, there is something, some new fruit that needs to come forth in our life. In the mighty name of Jesus. And I want to prophesy over your life. There will be, there will be new fruit. The, the fruits of the spirit. There are nine fruits of the spirit. May we tap into each one of them in the name of Jesus. There are nine gifts of the spirit. May we tap into the gifts of the Holy Spirit this year and bring forth great and mighty exploits into the earth. The area of healing that you can look for in this month of God is letting go of unproductive areas. If it's unproductive, we need to let go of it. Is, is, is wasting time. It's taking away the time that we need to do what we can be productive in. So the Lord wants us to have the ear. Amen. He wants us to have that ear, put our ears to the wall while we're fasting, while we're praying, while we're positioning ourselves for the rest of 5782, the rest of 2022. Let's hear what the spirit of the Lord has to say about the areas that we should be pursuing. We don't need to pursue areas that we are unproductive in. We'll be wasting time. Ah, my God, my God. The warfare that you're going to experience mostly this month is that of fighting change. You know, it's, it's difficult to, to, to change. We can get complacent in a certain place. But the Lord said, this is our season to shift. This is our season to change. Be open for change. We can't keep doing the same thing the same way if we want this, a different result. God is calling us to new strategies, new plans. That's why the collaboration is so important. God is calling us to step into a season of favor. His hand of favor is upon us. And we're going to accomplish great exploits. My God, my God, I feel the anointing in this live on tonight. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but someone is pulling on this anointing. Hey, hey, what had been difficult before? It will not be difficult anymore. You're going to tap into the new. You're going to tap into the new. God has new new connections for you, new opportunities for you this year. Now, I told you that you're going to hear again the throat, the throat, because that is the area that God is dealing with, the throat. Now, when we talk about the throat, you know, in order for something to get in your throat, it's got to come through, <laughs> you know, your throat. It comes to your throat, your throat to get to your stomach. So do this fast. Amen. During this fast, God is dealing with our appetite. We need more of the word of God. God wants to give us a hunger for more of the word, to eat the word. We're talking about the spiritual throat. We need to eat more of the word of God. You know, we want to build our house in order. We don't want to build our house on sinking sand. We want to build our house on a solid foundation. The house of righteousness must be based and must be built upon the foundation of the word. So we need more of the word. Ah, my God, my God, we need to eat the word in the morning. Eat the word in midday. Eat the word at night. Just stay in the word. Meditate on the word. Memorize the word. Read the word. Come on now. Declare the word. We talked about Job. Ah, Job talking about we shall declare and decree a thing because God wants us these promises. He wants us to repeat those promises back to him, remind him of his word and speak it over our life. 
So that is the area. That is the area that God is dealing with. He's dealing with the throat. That's the body part. Also, you know, the tribe for this month is Reuben. Reuben, Reuben, you know, Reuben was the firstborn. And I want to say this. God wants us to put first things first. He wants first things first. He wants to come first in our life. He don't want to substitute. He don't want to compete with anything. He wants to be first in the mighty name of Jesus. Also, Ephraim is the gate. We're at the Ephraim gate. And you know what Ephraim means? It means fruitfulness. It means fruitfulness. I tell you what, you know what? God is dealing with us at Ephraim gate. Remember Joseph? He had two sons. One was named Manasseh because God caused him to forget about his troubles that he had experienced in Egypt. God caused him to forget about it. And he said, I'm going to name this second child Ephraim because he's going to cause me to prosper. I shall be fruitful in the land of my affliction. Oh, my God. Somebody's getting ready to be fruitful. Somebody's getting ready to prosper in this month. In the mighty, in the mighty name of Jesus. And, you know, if you were looking at the constellations, I didn't say I didn't say, I didn't say we were looking at the Zodiac X sign. I said we were looking at the constellation. You know, you're going to see the Aquarius. That is the constellation for this time. And it paints, it's a picture of a water bearer. Water, the water is the word. The water reminds us the word of the word. And also the water reminds us of a fresh filling of the Holy Spirit. Ah, my baby, this is the time in the season for a fresh filling of the holy spirit this year people of god is power packed we're talking about the number two and let me remind you of 22 it means light revelation knowledge to unlock mysteries you're going to grow in the area of revelation knowledge as you study as you're sensitive to the voice of god passages of scripture that you've been reading for years god's going to give you new insight to it God's going to speak to you in your dreams. God's going to give you revelations of the word that you haven't received before. before. And I want to speak to the fivefold gifts. I want to speak to the fivefold office. I want to prophesy over the apostles, over the prophets, over the pastors, over the teachers, over the evangelists. Listen, God is taking you to another level. He's taking you to another level in your delivery. God is taking you to another level. Oh, he's going to open up new doors, give you grant you new opportunities. I see, I hear the word new, new platforms, new platforms this year in the mighty name of Jesus, because you have been diligent. You have been faithful to study the word of God. So get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready to rule and get ready to reign in your area of gifting. Get ready to rule, get ready to reign in your ministry. Get ready to rule, get ready to reign in the area of your business. Get ready to rule, get ready to reign in your area of power, whatever mountain that the Lord has placed you in, whatever he called you to. He may have called you to government, a government. He may have put the anointing, given you a gov in governmental authority. Come on now. You have governmental authority and may you may be actually called into the physical government to run for office this year. God's going to grant favor this year. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but favor, favor, favor is upon you. Listen, this word is so rich, people of God. Ah, I'm not even going to be able to get into the rest of it, but you just need to join me. And you need to learn what God is speaking. You need to hear what God is speaking about building uh, your building a house of righteousness, building a house of righteousness. Listen, there's so much and so many, so much being uh, much revelation. God is revealing so much. So next week, we're going to go into 5782 and we're going to talk more about what this building process is going to look like. We're going to talk more about your house and what the Lord is doing in your house, what he's doing in your vessel, what he's doing in your life, the blessings, the favor that's coming upon your life in the year 5782, in the year 2022, that's going to be turned around. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's going to be an awakening, awakening. When you put 
the five, the seven, the eight, and the two together, you look it up in the strong concordance, what you get is the word er. And er means awakening. So there is an awakening. God is causing an awakening. There's, God is causing a tsunami of revivals. It's getting ready to hit. Get ready to hit your city. Get ready to hit your church. Get ready to hit your life. You get ready to see things and experience blessings like you've never experienced the, the before. That's why you got to stay the course. That's why you got to stay focused. That's why you got to refuse to quit. You got to refuse to settle. There is an awakening. There is a stirring that's taking place in the, in the realm of the spirit right now. Even as I'm talking, I sense such an anointing being released over, over this live on tonight. And I just feel like I need to pray concerning that double portion. When I said double portion, I felt such, I felt such an anointing right there when I said the double, 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 double. You know, the two in the two, the two in the two, that's double. So you know the Lord has double in mind. He has double in mind. After you have gone through, after you've gone through what you went through, come on now, and you allow God to subtract some things. And you know what? What's greater than subtraction? Multiplication. Yeah, because he subtracted it because he's getting ready to multiply. He's getting ready to release double than what you had before in the mighty, in the mighty name of Jesus. So right now, I just want to pray this over you. I just want to decree a double, double portion over your life. Come on now. As you build your house of righteousness, there shall be a reward. You shall tap into the double portion. Just say it out loud. I'm getting ready to tap into a double portion this year in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you right now for the new mantles that are being released. Lord God, on this new day, this day, Lord God, this season of the double, this season of building, this season of establishment, this season of collaboration, we take off the old mantle of limitation and fear, and instead we activate, we activate courage to step into the supernatural, into a brand new way. God, you're just getting ready to do a brand new thing in our life. And help us to stay focused. I pray for dunamis. Let dunamis power fall upon your people, oh Lord God. In the name of Jesus, from the Holy Spirit that's being stirred up on the inside of us. The Holy Spirit being stirred up in our bellies. Miracles shall be our portion. Deliverance is our portion. The greater level is our portion. Great favor is our portion on this day. And we believe it. And we receive it on today in Jesus' name. Somebody shout. Somebody shout glory. Somebody shout glory. Oh, my. Wow. Woo. Hallelujah. People of God, please, please pray for the women of God that minister on this platform. We pray for many in the nation. There's so many in the nation right now that are going through one thing or the other. And some are losing hope. But I speak, I speak restoration over your life right now. And please pray for those that minister, that release the word of God. You know, all you need to hear is one word to encourage you in the midst of a storm, in the midst of a difficult situation. So that's why we have to pray for the women of God who are on the front lines and speaking the word boldly. And we're seeing great manifestation in great harvest of fruit, the fruits, fruits being produced right now as a result of the word, the seed of the word going forth into the lives of the people. So we speak strength, we speak strength, we speak Psalms 103, amen, the blessings of the Lord, the blessings of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus, healing shall be our portion in the name of Jesus, strength shall be our portion. He's renewing our youth like an eagle, just like in Psalms 103, verses 1 through 5, in the mighty name of Jesus, we're rising up, women of God. We're rising up, and we're taking our rightful places, our position. The Lord is positioning us for the double portion, for new, new, new doors, for new opportunities. He's positioning us, and we just speak that restoration and blessing and strength over the women of God that come forth on this platform diligently, we also speak blessings over the visionary. 
Yes, Evangelist Jacqueline Battle. And we say, amen, amen. Strength shall be your portion. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against you shall be annihilated. This is your season, woman of God, to bring forth. As we talked about the nine fruits and we talked about the nine gifts of the spirit, may you prosper this year, woman of God. May you bear much fruit in Jesus' name. God is preparing a table right in the presence of your enemies. And for those of you, amen, that if this word, these words coming forth on this channel, on this YouTube channel, amen, this Facebook Live, if the words, if the women of God have spoken blessings over your life and you, they spoke a word you needed to hear right then, I want to encourage you to sow and the information is coming across the screen. You can cash out, dollar sign, women in ministry, women in ministry TV, amen. And you can also sow through PayPal and that information is coming up. And also, I pray that God will raise up many that can partner with us at Fresh Fire. Amen. If you want to sow into Fresh Fire, there's a mighty work of the Lord being done in the nations. I just recently partnered with Pakistan where we're going to be helping to feed um, those that are hungry children. We're going to be able to uh, minister to those that um, that are in need of the word and need to know who Jesus is. This is basically mostly a Hindu population. But how many of you know that once the word goes forth, the word, the word can heal, the word can deliver, the word can set free. So we're going to be partnering. We have partners in Pakistan. We have partners in Liberia, in Kenya, in other nations. So we want to let you know that the seed will not fall. Uh, it will fall on good ground and it will bear much fruit and harvest in, in your life in the name of Jesus. We praise God for you today. I pray that you will join me next week as we talking about as we continue to discuss building a house of righteousness. Amen. Amen. God bless you, people of God. So glad, so thankful you joined me today. So until next week, amen. Be great. God bless.